I told you I would bring you Dragon Ball Fighters, and here I am bringing you Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Different games, similar mechanics. I actually realized that these matches take a lot of time, so I figured I just might as well get one ranked match I did. Um, this was against a guy, I think his name's Sizable Koala. This guy was zapping the shit out of me. But thankfully, I have actually gotten a lot better at this game. I've actually learned what to do at the beginning. Um, usually beams is the answer, or overheads. Uh, but just know, I am become destroyer of worlds. Like, I've played this game enough, uh, and I feel like I'm comfortable with my characters. I usually use Goku, Goku Black, and Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Although I use Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta sometimes, I use Vegeta sometimes, uh, pretty much anyone is Saiyan. I use 16 a little bit, but I feel like 16 is retardedly OP, like all his moves, like you can always combo with the grab, and then his grab can always combo into the ultimate or even his suicide ultimate. It's ridiculous, like, it's fucking nuts. But um, one thing in this game that I am starting to get better at is that right there. I'm not used to people doing Dragon Rush, I'm just not used to that, I haven't seen that a lot. Um, and I'm also not used to this. Honestly, playing this guy made me a lot better because I usually don't use the character's friends for the supers, but it's actually really good. One, because um, you do more damage, and two, is that I found out later, I played a couple matches later, that it, the second super you do with your friend tracks, so say, sometimes this has happened in the past where you do a combo and magically the guy like lands behind you for some reason, um, you can actually, say you do your super and then the guy's behind you, you can catch them off guard by pressing L1, L2, your guy comes out to do the super, and they face the opponent. So, like, just because you're retarded and you're shooting at nothing doesn't mean that you're not going to shoot at them, which is actually something I didn't know, and, I mean, I honestly don't really watch that many videos for this game. And as you can see there, honestly, that's retarded, I know, but I did that just because I wanted to have a safe, um, like, get out, basically. I didn't want to, like, screw around and end up getting schemed with um, a retarded, like, the thing is in this game, unless I'm mistaken, uh, when you want to just switch regularly, it seems like you can only do it with a rush, and rushes are really easily punishable, at least in multiplayer, at least that's what it seems like, uh, so I was like, fuck it, I might as well just waste one more, get out safely, as opposed to rushing in like an asshole, but this guy actually is really good, and uh, I definitely learned a little bit, at least in the sense of countering his bullshit Dragon Rush, as well as teleporting, um, or not teleporting, uh, using friends to keep the combo going. Well, actually, I'm not good at that. I have not done that. I've only done to the extent of using your friend just to make the super a little bit stronger, but real niggas do, and what's crazy, and I honestly, I just haven't used these characters enough to, like, realize, is, like, you could basically do a combo... And then after doing that combo, you have a gap where you basically have to take a breather, your combo's over. But they use their friend at such a time that if you were to try to attack them, uh, you would get hit. And basically their gap is, you know, perfectly done and nothing's wrong. Um, but I have gotten better with this sparking thing, because when I first started, I used to be like, whatever, I'll just use sparking. But I realized that you can have level 1, level 2, and level 3, level 3 being the best. Although I didn't really do much good use here because I got nuked. So when you lose your sparking, it's fucking depressing, never mind when it's your last dude. And Trunks, I actually used Trunks a lot when I first played the game, but I just don't like him because he has very few combos where you can do the combo and it's super into it. I don't know if it's just me, I just, I don't know, personally it seems that way to me anyway. I mean, it's possible that you can actually do his combos and get his super, but I don't know, me personally, I just feel like I can't do the super properly. I know he has burning attack, which is good. But you can only do that on the floor. I don't like that. I like supers you can actually do in the air. Um, and I also don't like the fact that his grab seems unreliable. At least for me. It's probably me. Because I do use like a Mongi PS4 controller. Um, so, I, you know, it's not like an actual gamepad where you can actually like rely on the input always coming out. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. And as you can see, I'm still getting nuked by this guy's Dragon Rush. It's like, they just put me in the fucking ground. But I was taking note of that. I was like, yo, this guy is doing a lot of damage with his boys. Oh, but thankfully, look at this. Look at that. I know the jump cancel technique. I don't do it for that extra bit because I feel like it's unreliable just for me. Um, and I feel like you don't miss out on that much damage personally, so I don't really care. One thing that's Jutsu, though, is like whenever someone hits me, I don't know what the fuck to do. Like anytime someone hit, or not hits me. Uh, when I hit someone and I'm not expecting to hit them, like, I don't know what to do. Like, it puts me in the round. Like, I'll hit them once by accident, 
and, and then completely drop the combo because I wasn't expecting it. Like, if I'm not expecting to hit someone, I won't keep the combo going. But as you can see here, uh, I actually got sick of this guy just swapping in and out. So I was like, you know what, I might as well. He's going to swap anyway. I might as well make it hurt and try to, like, get rid of him. Um, but that's why Dragon Rushes are actually really good because now he's over there chilling, getting his HP up, playing the game the way you're supposed to play it, which is as a piece of garbage. And I, ooh, you see that? I am learning. I'm evolving. While this guy does the same retarded Dragon Wish technique, I'm over here learning combos. That's that's actually a beautiful moment. Um, but yeah, this is a really fun game. I'm really surprised at how much fun I'm having with it. My friends actually ended up buying it because uh, they, they were kind of hesitant to get it. Uh, they're like, ah, I don't know. I don't know if it's a good game, blah, blah, blah. But the last DBZ game we all played together was Ultimate uh, Tenkaichi, which was an ultimate piece of shit. Um, I mean, trust me, I, that game was so shit, I actually made a video game review when it came out, just to say, like, I fucking hate that shit. Uh, ooh. Um, and by the way, it, at points in this video, you may see me, like, completely just stand still. I, f I figured out and found out that when I'm playing the PS4, I don't know if it's my USB cable or what, um, sometimes it'll just disconnect. I'm assuming it's because the power isn't strong enough, like the cord I have. I actually bought a new cord, and I'm hoping maybe it's good enough that I can actually live stream with this. Just to fuck around, like, I don't really give a shit, but, um, either way. The, like, right there, I wanted to drag and rush, or do a regular rush, and my controller disconnected, but, whatever. Um, but yeah, so my friends were really hesitant to get the game, uh, but I ended up letting them use my PSN account, two people, which kind of sucks, because... If you share games on PSN, they only like it when you share one PSN game, or share it with one PSN play, uh, member. Um, and I basically was, yo, yeah, Super Saiyan Blue Goku looks god tier in this outfit. That blue and yellow, beautiful. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, ta -ta. Um, so I, I let him use my account. And they ended up playing it for like a week or two, and they got super sucked in. And the reason why I bought this game, and I did not hesitate in getting it, is because I, I didn't know what to think of it. I played the beta, didn't know what to think of it really. Um, and like I said, it's my first kind of Guilty Gear-ish type fighting game, so I didn't want to go crazy. Uh, but I ended up basically getting a pretty good deal on amazon uh prime day which actually had good deals which i'm very surprised about like i really didn't think they would have good deals when last year's kind of cheeks they had it on sale for 35 dollars and this game came out a pretty recently i'd say it came out in what january or something so i was like whatever dude that sounds good to me i'll fucking do it and this is when i remember this moment i was so depressed because i knew this guy was going to kill me because he was going to do that and that and it would just be enough to kill me that's what sucks, like, when you have the perfect amount for one good combo to kill your character and you can't recover. That is one thing I do do not do do not like about this game personally is that it, I mean, it's a good, you know, it is a good Guilty Gear-esque fighting game. And it is, you know, good in that true way or whatever. But I don't like the fact that if someone puts you in a Jutsu combo, you can't, like, counter it or, like, in other Dragon Ball Z fighting games, if you're careful... In the old games, you can press R1 or R2, and you would teleport behind your opponent. Like in Tekaichi 1 or 2, you could basically teleport and would stop people from spamming certain combos. Or at least give you some reprieve and a little bit of skill that, hey, if you're getting nuked in this gigantic combo, it's because you don't know how to get out of it. Whereas in this game, it's just like, yeah, if you get caught in a combo and the other person doesn't drop their combo, you're pretty much screwed, dude. Like, you're not going to get out of it. Um, which is good when you're doing it, like right here, when I'm doing this gigantic combo and I'm having fun, but it sucks for people, like, especially for some of my friends, they played the game, and they're kind of new to this type of, uh, fighter, and it kind of puts them in the realm whenever they, and this is when I was like, come on, dude, are you serious? Uh, and it kind of puts them in the realm whenever, like, a long or large combo, uh, ends up hitting them, but, um, hey, I mean, I guess it's just part of the game, this type of game. It is kind of weird, um, but I guess it's just like because it's more like Guilty Gear, less like Tenkaichi, you know what I mean? I mean, this is probably harder than Tenkaichi. I remember when I was a kid, I was really good at Tenkaichi, but I don't remember it like if it was actual combos. This is like a more traditional, actual type of fighting game where you actually have to know the combos and actually know how to counter things. Um, but, but look at that. You see that, bro? 
That's me learning. I said, bro, this guy's doing Dragon Rush every two seconds. I need to counter that. This is, this is when I got hit by that. I was like, oh, Jesus. I don't know if I won this match. I don't remember. I feel like I did, but... Nah, there's no way I fucking won that shit. What are you crazy? No. Three people with this Goku? No way I'm winning that. Get out of here. Um, but as you can see, I think that's two L's, right? I'm pretty sure it's two L's. I think at this point, if I'm not mistaken, I, uh, I unplugged my PS4 controller from my computer, and I was like, listen, I'm not gonna do this remote play bullshit. Like, I actually need this fucking thing. And he's, I think, one or two ranks higher than me. I don't know if ranks really make a difference in this game. Like, I don't know if your skill level really is directly correlated. And right here, I was trying to press the X button, but my controller disconnected, and I was like, what the hell? Like, I either said fuck it, and I was like, I'm just going to use the controller properly, or this is, like, second to last where I hit it. Um, but, uh, it's pretty jutsu, honestly. But, hey, at the end of the day, this is a fun game. I like it a lot. I'm actually surprised at how many people, like, play the game. Like, it's not, like, you, know, you rarely go into a dead lobby. Like, there's actually a lot of people in the lobby, and it's not dead. And it's also, the servers are a lot better than what it used to be. Because I remember on launch, one thing that really um, kind of made me hesitant to, to get this game, one of the reasons, was that I heard that no one could play the game on launch. Because I guess they just didn't allocate enough servers. Which, I guess, is our... Uh, and this is when, uh, when I saw this, I was like, I literally just lost my Goku. I was like, I should have fucking swapped out. This was painful. My butthole was hurting when I saw this. And one thing I'm still cheeks at is I don't, I rarely know how to combo into Dragon Rush. I probably should learn these characters. Like, as you can see there, I tried to grip Dragon Rush randomly. Um, but thankfully, he brought out his Frieza, which was like half HP. So I was able to at least, like, carve up a little more off this guy. Um... But yeah, I'm cheeks at Dragon Rushing people out of their fucking thing. But, you know, what's crazy about Goku Black is he had, like, some characters have so many different special moves. Like, some characters have three. Some will have, like, a Kamehameha, they're Super 1, they're Super 3. And then some characters like Goku Black, it seems like he has a lot of special moves. Like, he has his dynamic entry leg kick, which I never do. He has his regular Kamehameha. He has his Minasa Kamehameha, where his monster comes out and grabs you. And then he has his friggin' level 1 super, his level 3 super, and he has another, I think, level 1 or level 3 where he basically, like, throws a gigantic Nova Ball. I never use that, just because, like, I don't know, I don't know why I would use it. Like, I feel like I, sh I should just use his level 3 or his level 1. Like, I feel like they the same thing. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if there's some combo that is really good that requires that, but I have yet to see it. Every combo I do with every character is literally this. Like, I just watched some Maximilian video. Um, beautiful. That's a fucking. That's a really good move for killing people. They rarely see it coming. Uh, where he basically explained jump canceling, and after I saw that, I was like, all right. There's literally no reason to like learn anything but this jump canceling combo because that's what does the most damage. What's funny though is that I rarely jump cancel in air. You can jump cancel in air, but I literally never do it ever. Um, I rarely start combos in the air. Uh, but I guess it's something to do. But fuck it. Who, who gives a shit? This is a fun game. I definitely recommend it if you haven't played it. I would definitely recommend you check it out. It is not Tenkaichi. It is not Xenoverse. It definitely is not Xenoverse. Xenoverse is more of like a MMO RPG type thing. Um, but it's a fun game. It's very cool. And I haven't even gotten the DLC. My friends bought the DLC. Um, like I said, they played on my account and uh, they checked it out. And they actually literally today ended up buying the DLC because I told them it's on sale. Uh, the Ultimate Edition instead of 110 is $60. Uh, which is really good. I would have bought it if I didn't already buy it for like 35 just to have. Um, I got uh, it for 35 and they got the game plus all DLC, which is usually like 35 bucks for a total of 65 which is pretty damn good. Speaking of good, look at that. Look at that. Victory pose. Beautiful. The only people I have extremely hard time beating in multiplayer, freezes, I'm starting to get better. I used to get nuked by freezes all the time because they're Move style is just weird. Uh, but, yeah, the I remember I used to get nuked by Frieza's a lot, but I've played with my friends enough with Frieza. I've actually used Frieza. That's one thing. If you play the character, you can at least learn what they do so you can learn how to drain. Um, but because I don't have the DLC, I never used Bardock, for example. I never used... Um, 
Broly. Although Broly, so many people use him and they use him so similarly, I find it kind of easy to counter him. But Bardock never used him. He's god tier. Usually in multiplayer, I have a tough time. Um, and then I also have a hard time with Vegito and Zamasu. Although, now that my friends have the DLC and I've been playing with them all day, uh, I've gotten used to a little bit more of their combos and I'm a little more comfortable with just pretty much just at least knowing what they do and being ready for it. But, yeah, this is a... I mean, again, this sounds redundant, but this is a surprisingly fun game that actually there's a lot of time and effort that went into this. Um, I definitely am one of the people who is... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Skeptical when it comes to Dragon Ball Z games ever since I played Ultimate Tenkaichi. Uh, but this is definitely a well-made game, and it's really fun. and has Dragon Ball Z characters in it, which is a formula for success. And they're all really cool and really in-depth. And I, I really have barely scratched the surface. Like, before I got Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, I pretty much only played with Vegeta, Goku, Trunks, Goku Black, um... And I forgot who else. Maybe, like, sparingly I'd use Frieza once in a while. But ever since I got Super Saiyan Blue and I got, um... Uh, what do you call it? <sighs> Goku Black, which you don't even get. He's just unlocked from the start. Um, I pretty much have been running with this. Super Saiyan Goku, he's very vanilla. He's, like, the Ryu of this game. But I really like him. I like using him. Uh, I also like Goku Black and I also like uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku. I don't know how they rank in terms of multiplayer. Whenever I look at like the ranking for this game in general, uh, whenever I look at Living Legends, I will always see at least either Bardock on their team, um, sometimes Cell, or surprisingly, one character which I haven't played a lot with, but when I have seen good uh, Piccolos online, I'm really surprised because Piccolos, I don't know, he's a weird, he's like, he's almost like the block of this game in the sense that he's like a charge character. Uh, like I'm just not used to him. Uh, but it seems like like people who actually use him is he's really good, especially as his regular link skill ability, his regular um, like when you call him out as a ally, I've seen that people spam that and basically use it to their advantage. Look at this, look at this. You know how happy I was that I, I knew he, what he was gonna do. Look at that. And bro, after I did this KO, I was super expecting this guy to um, DDoS me and just disconnect. Because this, that happens a lot in this game, honestly. It's not, this game isn't like Super Smash, if you play Super Smash Online, um, where if you disconnect, they'll basically punish you. Uh, whereas for this, it's not like that. They don't punish you. It's really weird, honestly. Like, the fact that they don't punish you is really moggy. Speaking of disconnects, I actually saved, like, a list of times that people disconnected on me. I think I have video clips of this, too, but it's amazing how many people have disconnected on me, man. It's been a lot, honestly. I don't know if this is a disconnect. I should probably save every single disconnect ever. Oh, this is the trophies and stuff, but... Yeah, this is definitely a fun game. Cool game, I like it. Um, surprisingly fun. Surprisingly cheap. $35 for a relatively new game is a pretty good price for console. Um, but, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. I, I, I would say, if anyone plays this game... Let me know if there's, like, a better mode than ranked. So far, I've only been playing ranked. I tried party match once, and I don't know what it was. Like, I, I just left. I was like, whatever. I did play arcade mode. I did play story mode. That's where I got most of Zenny to get Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Um, but, yeah, I don't really know, like, what's a good mode to play with friends other than, like, local and doing, like, a ring match or something. But, hey, pretty cool game. Pretty fun game. Um, definitely, my intention is to continue to play this and check it out some more. And let me just say, I'm going to be 100%, 100%. I'm on the fence about buying the DLC, but if they ever, for some reason, add a Majin Vegeta as a playable character in DLC, I will cop that shit in a heartbeat. Majin Vegeta in most Dragon Ball Z fighting games has been probably one of my favorites. I remember in the OG Budokai 3, I love being a piece of garbage and using his suicide attack. And even in Tenkaichi 2, he was fucking good and cool. So, yeah, something to keep in mind. And, uh, hey, you know what they say first step to becoming a pro Dragon Ball Fighters uh, champion is uh, mastering Bardock. As a matter of fact, let me go to Ring. I'm going I'm to show you the power of Bardock real quick. Where Bardock at? Let me see. You're going to see a whole... They go Bardock. They go Bardock right there. They sell it too. Sell is used a lot. Piccolo is used too. That's pretty crazy. Fuck. Well, that's about it. Shit was pretty legit. Uh...
I'll see you next time. Bye.